I'm Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. Today we're in a single family dwelling, a residential new construction project, and um, I have with me Matt Chafee. Matt Chafee is the project manager and lead electrician for this project, and Matt's going to assist me with laying out the lighting in this room per the plan sets. Matt, what do we have here? What we hear is we have a typical family dwelling. We're going to do a four square pattern on the ceiling here and we're going to lay these out uh, usually to general contractor specs or for what the print would call for, but we're going to go for a 33 off exterior wall and interior wall for these corners. So Matt, that's 33 inches off of rough framing to the center of the can light, correct? Yes. And on the can light, we've got center markings. There's a notch on all four faces of the can. This is a six inch can light, also known as a recessed light, occasionally termed a pot light. Um, the can is equipped with its own junction box. This is a roomy junction box, contains instructions, and one black, red, uh, sorry, black, white, green wire, as well as self-contained knockouts and clamps. I'm gonna be securing this can light in place, 33 inches off rough framing to center of light. This can, this particular can, is rated for direct contact with insulation. That rating is here on the side, IC22, direct contact with insulation because of thermal overload protection. Let's rock. <clears throat> Got my insulated folding rule. I'm gonna be measuring 33 inches off of rough framing. Put my V mark, so it's hard to miss. A lot of other uh, marks up here. I'm going to mark both um, bottom cords of the truss so that I can align my can. I'm going to align the center notch of the can up with the V. Set the nails. The bottom of the can is flush with the bottom of framing. I'm gonna re repeat this on the other side. Sliding the can all the way over. Bottom of can flush with bottom of framing. I'm gonna take one more measurement off of the other framed wall. Still 33 inches before I locate and finalize my can. There it is. And then there's a set screw on the side of the can, Phillips head set screw that's gonna secure the can in that location. Prevent it from sliding at a later date. Now let's wire up this can. I have 14.2 Romex on a wire caddy that I'm gonna terminate in the side of the can. I've removed the junction box cover pulled out and straightened up the conductors. These are stranded conductors. So I'm giving them a pre-twist to the right so they don't lose any strands off of those conductors. Again, black, white, green, every stranded conductor with a clockwise pre-twist. I'm now gonna strip my 14-2 Romex or non-metallic cable. Be careful not to damage any of the internal conductors. There's a pre, there's a factory knockout, and now I'm inserting my 14-2 Romex. I want to make sure and be certain that the outer sheath of the Romex has been inserted into the junction box on the can at a quarter inch minimum to protect the internal conductors from damage on the metal edges. At this point, I'm gonna use tan wire nuts, total of three, and I'm gonna connect color to color. No pre-twist is required because the stranded conductor is so flexible. The wire nut will grab it and wrap it around the solid conductor in the Romex. I am gonna do a pull test probably between 10 and 15 twists. A sharp pull test 
if one of the conductors is not going to grab in the wire nut, it's gonna be the stranded conductor. So I wanna be certain that that doesn't take place. All right. And in this color to color process, two blacks are secured under one wire nut, two whites under the other wire nut, and then ground and green are both code for grounding conductors. So I'm gonna have a bare copper ground wire to a green wire. Again, 10 to 15 twists of the wire nut. A pull test to make sure I'm secure. I can feel it seating properly into the wire nut. I'm gonna fold each set of conductors into the recessed junction box housing. I'm gonna tuck it in there carefully. I'm gonna take the cover, I'm gonna put it in a safe place, secure it to the box. And then I'm using <clears throat> a Klein stapler to secure the 14-2 Romex within 12 inches along the length of the cable to framing from the point of entry.